Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back another kicking graphic novel review. This is a Tony S. Daniel, art and story. I got a nice Tony S. Daniel poster right here behind me. I'm a big Tony uh, S. Daniel fan. But it is Batman, Eye of the Beholder. I bought this a while back at a comic shop. Support your local comic shop because uh, I love Dick Grayson Batman. Lots of you are going to scoff at me, but Dick Grayson is actually my favorite Batman. He's just... I don't, I'm not going to go into a whole spiel here, but... Very, very cool. So, Batman, Eye of the Beholder. This is after Bruce Wayne comes back. So, Bruce is off doing the Batman Incorporated stuff, and Dick is still watching Gotham as Batman. I'm going to read you the back of the book here. Find the mask, or Gotham, is doomed. Nothing is coming easy for Dick Grayson, the Batman of Gotham City. Not only does he have to deal with psychotic killers like Two-Face and the Falcone crime family, but a new threat has descended on Gotham. The ancient, evil, and mystical Beholder Mask is hidden somewhere within the city, and some will stop at nothing to get their hands on its power. Now a killer from Batman's past is stalking the people who hold the clues to the mask's whereabouts. And that includes some of those closest to Batman. When it comes to magical masks, Dick is a bit out of his element. Luckily, there's help. The beautiful and mysterious hero Peacock has also traveled to Gotham seeking the mask. And her ties to the Beholder and its deadly pursuer run deeper than anyone suspects. Can Batman and Peacock get to the Beholder first? Or will Gotham become ground zero for a new empire of evil, fueled by the power of the mask? Bruce Wayne may be back as Batman, but writer-artist Tony S. Daniel, the Savage Hawkman in Detective Comics, is putting Dick Grayson through his toughest challenges yet as Gotham's Guardian. This book's uh, $22.99 USA, by the way, because this is hardcover. Uh, I'll read you the inside as well. Inside cover. Destruction lies in the eye of the Beholder. Every time I read Beholder, I think Dungeons & Dragons. For generations, the mystical Beholder Mask has been sought by those who would wield it and feared by those who have experienced its destructive power. Years ago, the Beholder was brought to Gotham and secreted away, and there it has safely stayed hidden until now. A deadly adversary from Batman's past has traced the Beholder to Gotham, and he's leaving a trail of bodies behind as he tries to extract its location from the men who have closely guarded it. But this is Gotham City, and it's under the protection of Dick Grayson, the Batman of Gotham. Along with the beautiful Peacock, a mysterious hero with deep ties to the Beholder, Batman must try to solve a mystery that stretches deep into Gotham's past, because whoever wields the mask can spread its deadly power over the entire world. So yeah, as always, I love Tony S. Daniels' art. Um, all his work with Dick Grayson, Batman, Night, Night uh, Battle for the Cowl, etc. Just so good. In the beginning of this, they fight Reaper, who was resurrected in a previous volume. And, uh, we also have Catgirl running around. You remember Selina recruited that Falcone girl to be Catgirl. And by the end of this, Catgirl is out, you know. Spoilers, by the way. Uh, the main villain of this is Sensei, who was brought back from the dead. Hit big, big, big spoiler alert, actually by Peacock to lead her to this mask so that she could destroy it and him. But the Riddler's also doing stuff in the background in both of the stories in this book because he's trying... because he's kind of starting to recover from his amnesia, but he doesn't have everything, and in this book he has a daughter. Not really his daughter. I think he just tricked her into thinking she was his daughter. And I'm pretty sure he kills her by the end. That's heavily, heavily, heavily implied. But, uh... They fight and defeat Sensei, destroy the mask. Uh, I thought Peacock was pretty cool. You know? She was a cool little vigilante. Uh, there's also a story about Two-Face. Uh, kind of taking things back from Falcone. And he then, uh... And that's also a lot to do with Two-Face's wife from his Harvey Dent days as well. She comes back into the picture. Uh, and it's a good book. Is it like some big grand story that everyone should read? No. But if you're a Dick Grayson Batman fan, and you should be, Eye of the Beholder is a 
definitely something you should read. The art is great. It's written well. I really enjoyed Dick Grayson's time as Batman just so, so, so much. And, uh, well, Batman Night of the Beholder is not my favorite story from Dick Grayson Batman's time. I did really enjoy it. I really enjoyed, uh, this. So, Batman Eye of the Beholder, Tony S. Daniel. Get it from your local comic shop if you can. If not, there are online resources if your local comic shop doesn't have it or can't get it. Uh, next time, we're... We might do a Dark Knight's Metal book, but I'm thinking of taking a Marvel break, so maybe Superior Carnage. I'm feeling symbiote -y. That's it. Thank you all once again. See you all next time.